here we have seats uh, three in the front row curved configuration four in the rear row also curved configuration let's go ahead and just uh do a quick walk up here All right here in the this is a love seat with an insertable armrest so i can pop this out and then it becomes a love seat so the wife and i can uh, watch movies together uh, you know, without having to worry about being divided by an armrest. I mean, what 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 fun is that? The answer is absolutely no fun at all. Okay, if you take a look, here's a here's the perspective from the rear row. This screen really is huge, and I am so happy that I went with a 12 foot wide screen. Um, a lot of people mentioned that it would be too large. I'm glad that I did not listen because this this uh, screen size is perfect for both rows actually. See, so that's the viewing distance from front row and then the rear row back here. See, perfect size. Go big. When in doubt, just go big. Okay. So these seats, they come with these storage compartments. They're, they're pretty large. And then they also came with these trays now these trays are amazing what makes these trays amazing is that you just you place this in this little slot right here push down okay and then they swivel now this is important because i can place a laptop on these i can place my food on these i can place my remote on these sometimes sometimes i have them up during a movie it's not often but it happens and um you know and every seat comes with one of these which is amazing um these seats are full power recline motorized recline they're wall huggers uh the wall hugger design means you can have these right up against a wall or a wall type construct and when they recline the seats move this way instead of that way it's a really amazing design that um that i i could not live without here i mean i'm i'm very very happy very very satisfied with these seats and um i strongly suggest them these are the fusion tributes fusion seating is the company and the tribute is the model and i heartily heartily recommend them now something that's uh, a little neat um that uh, personally i'm proud of is i went ahead and um because the seats have USB storage, I just have my remote charging in the seat at all times. So I don't have to worry about having it um, outside of the room or anything like that. It's always, always charged. After every use, I just sit in those charger in there. Done. Here's how the room looks from right around the rear row here. Just want to give perspective of what the experience is like uh, being here. So yeah, you have the front row, three seats, rear row four seats um, with the armrest inserted in the love seat configuration uh, excuse the clutter this is currently serving as my uh, storage room as well while I build the gym uh, so this is the main computer which is the front uh, it runs the GUI for J River that's an old computer that I've currently turned into um, a media server nothing but hard drives in there uh, four hard drives in terms of the hardware, this is the only hardware that's required within the theater. The remote is what I utilize 99% of the time. I use a Logitech Air Mouse and a wireless keyboard whenever um, I need to make uh, changes to a configuration. Alrighty, so here, um, this is the options menu for J River. Um, you go to Startup, and then here for under Windows Startup. There are a few options. There's on startup, do nothing, run only media center, run media server, run media center and media server. So you pick run media center and media server and then hit OK. And then, not hit OK, but you exit the menu. After you do that, then you pick how you want it to start. So I have it to start in theater view, which is the GUI. The video, the audio, uh, images, playlist, gadgets, exit. Go down to video. That's my movie collection, performance trailers. These are typically all Adobe Atmos um, and uh, format trailers. 
uh, bass demonstration, surround sound demonstration. Uh, just as an example, if I go into surround sound, then you have Book of Eli shootout, uh, Town shootout, Iron Man 2 race, Prometheus crash. These are very well known uh, demos. Performance trailers. You go in, you get, you know, the the some do some really neat Dolby Atmos um, demos, DTSX as well, and then over here in the collection, you have the actual movie collection. And this is why we don't need Kaleidoscape right now.